We just got to Batavia and we're looking for sweet, what's it called again? Palaces? Palace of, Palace of Sweets? Palace of Sweets, yeah. Yeah, so we're looking for a Palace of Sweets. It says it's in a mall, uh, but there's just like this brick building. We're pretty sure that that's what like the mall is. Uh, yeah, so we just gotta find Palace of Sweets and then we'll show you the store. I think we're like 20 minutes early, so hopefully he's there. This is all of ours. It was a restaurant, candy store, snack bar, and gift shop. Oh, wow. And originally we were supposed to be across the hall to have an outside entrance and an inside, inside entrance. And then J.C. Penny wanted that space. And my dad already, we had, the floor was all dug, sewers were all in, and then the developer went out of business. And um, so it became like rent to own. And then so we went from 2,000 square feet to 6,000 square feet. Oh, yeah. I was working in Rochester at the time, and they called me up, and I still remember the call. Oh, we're, uh, we're moving across the hall, and we're taking 6,000 square feet. <laughs> so originally it was just supposed to be candy and ice cream, yeah. you know, typical Greek candy store. You know. <laughs> this is what we're maintaining for a long time. We had a hood here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guess, uh, one gas stove mm -hmm. and a cream, uh, small... Uh, I just sold it a, a whole bar. Oh yeah, a little mixer. Yeah, I don't know, 50 quart. I don't know, it was about that tall. Sure. Yeah. And uh, then we had uh, we had uh, this right here. I don't know if you ever seen these. Yeah, I my grand my grandmother my grandmother. Um, there's a piece of marble here and a piece of marble there, hmm. and you can you put the insert in and you temper. And you dip hand dip right here. Oh, wow. But then I bought the one in Rover, and um, I forget what I even did with this. And then uh, I think we kept it over, I think we put it over the top of this sink. And then um, then when I moved out, I took the Rover back, and then we were using this. And then uh, uh, you can buy like a restaurant little tabletop steam, steamer. Yeah, yeah. And that pot fits my rover. Oh yeah. So we had I had two of them over there. Huh. So and then we had dark melter and then the milk melter. And then uh, so like when we were really cranking, well like if we were doing white or sugar free, we we'd use those two melters. And then then I had the melter that fits these uh, uh, just plain games here with the foam and everything. Difficult when you're trying to get things. This is yours. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the. It's got two pots, it's stainless steel square, and you put these in and it's dry heat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You know, you put in 10 pounds of chocolate at night and you come in, it's all melted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, you know, so you can do colors and sugar free and or like we do a lot of orange flavored chocolate. Yeah. And um, then we built this cooler. Yeah, the power's all off. But. So uh, this, held, this this held uh, the chocolate, the 50 pound oh, cases. Okay, yeah. And then these hold like the five pound stock boxes. Yeah. yeah. We built them to fit the five pound stock boxes. and So we had like milk on this side, dark on this side. But you know, those days are gone. <laughs> Is it? Is this just? I I did all this. I did. We uh, just plug it in. Uh, yeah, one there one time. Yeah, and then the one is the heater. Okay. So you leave that on all the time, and you have a light. Yeah. And then this is the motor. Okay. So we rewired all this. I when I bought it, this was nothing was here, just wires. Oh. Really? So we wow. rewired it. I put a nice long wire on it, and yeah. then we uh, we added this on, and I had to change the thermostat. Wait, you still have a candy store someplace? I'm at McKinley Mall near the Buffalo Bills Stadium oh, in okay. Hamburg. Yeah. I got 3,000 square feet there. Wow. And it's split in half. We do ice cream, candy, and gifts, and drinks, floats, coffee in the front. And that one worked out okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, I've been there since 2000, November 2008. Then when I moved back, I cooked here. Oh, did you? Because we, I, that fan I sold, I sold it yeah. fan. Because when I closed the restaurant, I wasn't going to do do that anymore. So, um, so that had, we still had this fan, and I put this little water spigot in here, and we, we had to run the gas line because when my dad built this place, gas 
was that there was a moratorium in 76. Oh, yeah. And if you didn't have gas, whatever you had gas for, that's what you could get gas again for. So all the restaurant equipment was high voltage electric. So since we had gas for heat, they let us hook up the, the heat on mm -hmm. the roof to gas. And we could get gas back there, but they wouldn't allow us to hook up any fryers or anything. So everything was electric here. And you even, I can't even, like this steam table and that stove over there, they're boat anchors. Because I can't, yeah. nobody has electric. Oh. It's 440 volts. Yeah. So, yeah. Snack bar in here, which uh, we had a popcorn machine here, cotton candy, oh, yeah. ice cream, pop, huh. and uh, soft ice cream machine, which is another boat anchor. It's three phase. Not not a lot of people have three phase. What's that mean? Uh, if you look out on your telephone pole, if you have one transformer, like yeah. in front of your house, yeah. that's single phase. If you have three transformers. Oh. That's it's more efficient power. Three phase is more efficient. So my dad, I'm an electrical engineer. He was an electrical engineer. So he bought three. Everything was three phase because, like, let's say you're using 30 amps. This would probably only use like 15 because oh, really? it's three phase. Huh. So wow. I've had a lot of people look at the soft ice cream machine. They go, "Do you have three phase?" And they go, "What's that?" And I said, "Then you don't need yeah. this." <laughs> 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 my older brother. Wants to take it to the store and clearance, and I said, Jim, did you ever clean the soft ice cream machine? No. Do you know how to run the soft ice cream machine? No. He goes, I go, I'm not telling you. So you, <laughs> you don't have free phase. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, how are you gonna expand for an rover? Well, in the basement, we're just gonna move things around. Are you? Yeah. Just... See what's nice about mine? You've seen it right online. The perfect. Um... With the wheel. Oh yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, That's, what's nice about yeah. that is, uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's, yeah, it's only the size of this, really. Right. Yeah. And, and then you got the sides still that probably yeah, add on. Yeah. I had my sides made longer because running sponge, I'd, you know, putting it on there and. Because then you have to run over and. <laughs> well, yeah, off. it's yeah. Well, you can do one person. I mean, I run it by myself sometimes, like Oreos and stuff. Just throw them on there and take them off, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, the nice thing about it is you can take the chain the rover off and then it becomes a temper melter. Yeah. So like oh, I said, okay. I use it to fill my three dimensional rabbits. Yeah. You know, especially the three footer. We used to sit there. Three foot. Yeah. You make it. You didn't make it solid, did you? No. Oh, yeah, no that'd be so expensive, man. No, it's about eighteen pounds. It's three coats. Yeah. But the way we used to do it back there in that little melter that you saw, we had it sitting on top of a corn syrup, and they have to ladle it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. about half full, and then you'd spin it, yeah, let it yeah, cool, and then right. do it again. Now yeah. with the wheel, I just jam it. <laughs> do it and then coat it and then dump it. And dump yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So we do about, I think the most I ever did was 12 one year. I oh, had okay. another mold. We saw maybe one. Yeah. One we're down to about, they, they we're down to about three now. like it, but they... It's yeah, we're down to about three now. But I think three or four years ago, I did 12. Wow. I did them for some other customers that drove here to get it. I said, well, you got to, I'm not shipping it. I said, you yeah. to <laughs> Now we have two chocolate melters. Now this one is going to be for dark, and this one is still going to be for milk. Oh, it's still warm. Nice. Uh, yeah, but we actually, we brought it downstairs. Me, mom, and dad all brought it downstairs yesterday. We would have shown a video of it, but uh, I needed to uh, carry things <laughs> with mom and dad. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's like, what you said, like 400 pounds? Close. Yeah, it had to be. It's, it's like 180 kilograms. Really heavy. Yeah. All iron and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's really heavy. And then, So we what we used to do for dark chocolate was just... Uh, heat it up over here with double boilers like this one says white like that's that's what we still do for white chocolate uh, We just always have this going and let's see what's in here Is this milk over here? Okay, well, so why, why do we have milk on the stove if we have the melter? Oh, it's just 
tunnel is just supposed to work with it. Or I thought you just took it out of the. Cuddle. I thought you took it out of the melter. Yeah, you do. You take it out of the melter and put it in the kettle so you can work with it. Right, but it's on the stove, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's ready to go all the time. You can just add to it. So then you just add to it from the melter? Yep. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much mom and dad have taught me about candy making. But yeah, so we brought this down down the stairs. It took a while. We had It was like uh, tied with a rope to a dolly, and it was dad's, dad's idea. And it worked pretty well. Um, it was still pretty hard, though. But uh, yeah, we brought it downstairs, and we hit the switch, the, like an on switch against the wall. And, and it just like popped off, so we're gonna have to get a new one of those. But other than that, it was pretty good success. Yep. So uh, what do you think of your new melter, Dad? It's gonna be great. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be nice having uh, a dark melter, because then sometimes, especially during Christmas time, we do need sometimes two cuddles going like this for uh, dark chocolate. So uh, mm -hmm. if we have a bigger melter, we can add fill the two kettles up quick and use it up and no problem sometimes we've had to chop up chocolate and put it on the stove and stir it and stir it and stir it stand there for a half hour until it's melted and this way it's all done mm -hmm. and it's all ready to go yeah so what are you chocolate covering right now these are amaretto creams amaretto creams wow we gotta make uh all these creams now for Valentine's. That's what we sell mostly all the heart boxes. Mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, cream centers and nuts and clusters and, uh, and chewies and caramels. And so nuts and chewies are really popular this time of year more so than other holidays? No, no. They're just, uh, they'll just come in for the heart box. Yeah. You know. So. Just one of the flavors. I gotta make. Uh, I gotta make butterscotch, cherry, coconut, cranberry. Oh no, not cranberry. Yeah, maybe cranberry. Ha hazelnut, Irish cream, lemon, maple, orange, pineapple, rum, raisin. These are all the flavors we have to make. This is top secret information. Yeah. Just uh, everyone on YouTube, don't tell anyone about this, okay? <laughs> Just gotta keep working. So everything's nice and fresh. 